Hello everyone, you're watching the Techno Dog channel, and today we're doing an interesting comparison of budget level devices from rivals in the Chinese market, Xiaomi and Huawei, or rather their subsidiaries, Redmi and Honor. We're putting the Redmi Note 8 Pro against the Honor 9X Pro. This comparison is especially interesting because the devices went on sale with a difference of one month between their release dates, and their price is practically the same. But before we start comparing these new products, I remind you that by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell, you will always be the first to watch new videos. Liking and commenting on the video really inspires us to release new videos as often as possible. So let's begin! First of all, let's look at the design. In this aspect, you cannot fault either Redmi or Honor. The front side of the Redmi Note 8 Pro, in addition to the screen, is occupied by a drop-shaped cutout from the front camera on the top and a small chin at the bottom. In total, the screen occupies almost 85% of the front of the smartphone. The display is protected by a Gorilla Glass 5 screen. As for Honor, they decided to go even further and made a retractable front camera, thus further increasing the working space. On the other hand, the lower part of the side frames in Honor are slightly wider than in Redmi, so the screen occupies the same 85% of the front side of the smartphone. It's protected by Gorilla Glass 6 technology. The back of the Redmi Note 8 Pro is glass, with Gorilla Glass 5 protection. In the center is a vertical unit consisting of three lenses and a fingerprint scanner. On the side of this block is another vertical block that houses the fourth lens and a flash. At the bottom, you can see the Redmi logo. The volume rocker and the power button are on the right side of the device. On the left edge is a hybrid slot for two nano SIM cards, one of which can be replaced by an SD card. At the bottom of the phone, there is a USB Type-C connector, next to which are a microphone, speaker grill, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the top, there is an infrared port and a second microphone. The back cover itself is made with a slight rounding, which makes the device more convenient to hold in your hand. The phone comes in three colors, gray light, ice jade, and white mother of pearl. The device weighs 199 grams. As for the Honor 9X Pro, the back surface is made of Gorilla Glass 6 and is quite interesting in terms of appearance. Overflows on the cover form the letter X, which refers to the name of the device. It looks unusual, but pretty nice. In the upper corner of the device is a triple camera module consisting of three sensors located in a column. A flash is located under this module. Below, in the center, the brand name Honor is flaunted. Two glass panels are framed by an aluminum frame. At the upper end, there is a retractable front camera as well as a microphone. At the bottom of the phone is a 3.5 millimeter jack, a USB Type-C port, and a speaker. The right side is equipped with a volume control button and a power button, in which a fingerprint scanner is installed. The right side is equipped with a volume control button and a power button, in which the fingerprint scanner is installed. Honor decided to excel with the color names. Magical Black Knight, Blue Sea Charm, and Red Charm. The 9X Pro weighs 206 grams. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has an IPS screen with a diagonal measurement of 6.53 inches and a resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels. The pixel density is 395 pixels per inch. This matrix is highlighted due to an increased level of maximum brightness. Therefore, using the smartphone even on the street is quite comfortable. The phone has impressively high contrast, 1500 to 1, which allows you to enjoy the rich colors. The 9X Pro has a more advanced 6.59 inch LTPS screen. The resolution is the same as the Redmi Notes, 2340 by 1080 pixels, with a density of 391 ppi. The top of the display is covered with a protective 2.5D glass. The screen has good viewing angles, allowing you to view the image from a large variety of angles. The color scheme is saturated and bright. There is an oleophobic coating that protects the front of the device from fingerprint traces. Devices work on the Android 9.0 Pi operating system under the control of branded shells. The Redmi 8 Pro runs MIUI 10 and the Honor 9X runs EMUI 
Here's a little about each of them. In MIUI 10, some icons are redrawn, and the size of the interface elements is slightly changed. The text is more readable, and the firmware as a whole looks more accurate. The multitasking menu has become vertically oriented. More applications are placed on one screen, a definite plus. They are unloaded from memory with a swipe to the right. All contextual actions, fixing the application in memory, loading in a split screen format, and opening his card in the settings are now able to be done with a long tap. Advanced system controls using gestures is also present. EMUI 9.1 has smoother operation than previous versions and also received navigation gestures for full screen smartphones and a new voice assistant. The system has received changes in aesthetics, wallpapers, themes, and icons. The new EMUI 9.1 also has performance improvements. The speed of random processing increased by 20%. In addition, the interface received support for the updated proprietary GPU Turbo 3.0 graphics accelerator technology. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro has four camera modules, one of which shoots at a record 64 megapixels. It also has an ultra-wide 8 megapixel sensor and 2 megapixel sensors for measuring frame depth and macro photography with an f2.0 aperture. Cameras support advanced AI features. Movies can be shot in 4K or FHD shooting in slow motion. Electronic stabilization helps in recording videos. The 9X Pro received a 16 megapixel retractable front camera. The rear houses a triple main camera with LED flash. The main wide-angle 48 megapixel module has phase autofocus. Also, an ultra-wide-angle 8 megapixel sensor is complemented by a 2 megapixel image depth measurement sensor. It is possible to shoot videos in FHD format. Thanks to AI support, automatic scenes are provided that optimize photos in real time. The Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone is equipped with a high-performance MediaTek Helio G90T chip, which is implemented using a 12 nanometer process technology. This progressive processor received six Cortex-A55 cores with a clock frequency of 1880 MHz, as well as two powerful Cortex-A76 cores with a frequency of 2050 MHz. The phone has a Mali G76 MP4 graphics processor. Cooling is made in the form of a copper tubing, which allows the phone to not heat up for a long time, even when playing demanding games. The amount of RAM reaches 6 or 8 gigabytes. Internal memory? 64 or 128 gigabytes. If that's still not enough permanent memory, then you can use micro SD cards up to 256 gigabytes to expand the memory capacity. In the Antutu test, the smartphone shows an excellent result of 282,000 points which at the moment makes it the best in performance in its price category. The 9X Pro is equipped with a modern 7-inch Kirin A10 chip, which includes two high-performance Cortex-A76 cores with a frequency of 2,270 MHz and six Cortex-A55 cores with a frequency of 1,880 MHz. The phone has a Mali G52 graphics processor. Additional performance is provided by the updated Game Turbo 3.0 technology which was introduced with the release of EMUI 9.1. A special dual-circuit cooling system consisting of copper plates and tubes also helps with cooling. The gadget is equipped with 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. The Honor 9X Pro comes in 128 or 256 gigabyte storage capacity. It supports microSD cards up to 512 gigabytes. In the Antutu test, the Honor 9X Pro scored a solid 220,000 points. Not a record, but in terms of performance, there are no complaints about the smartphone. The Redmi Note 8 Pro works with Wi-Fi networks at frequencies of 2.4 and 5 GHz. Navigation systems, support for GLONASS, dual GPS, AGPS, and Baidu is provided. Power adapters connect to the phone using a Type-C connector. There is an NFC chip. There is also an infrared port. The Honor 9X Pro has an NFC module, as well as Bluetooth 5.0. The phone uses a Type-C connection port for convenient charging. There is support for Wi-Fi networks at frequencies of 2.4 and 5 GHz, as well as navigation systems AGPS, GLONASS, and BDS. 
Honor 9X Pro also uses a range of communication enhancement measures called AI Smart Communication 2.0. It includes technologies that should provide more stable reception of both cellular signal and Wi-Fi. The Redmi Note 8 Pro has a capacious 4500 milliamp hour battery. Quick Charge 4 Plus technology allows you to charge the phone up to 50% in 40 minutes and up to 100% in 2 hours and 5 minutes using the 18 watt power adapter that comes with the kit. Inside the Honor 9X Pro is a no less worthy 4000 milliamp hour battery. Although there is no support for wireless charging, there is a fast charge with a power of 10 watts which is designed to charge the smartphone by 100% in about 2 hours. Naturally, each model, in addition to positive qualities, has negative ones. Based on the reviews, I have prepared a list of the main advantages and disadvantages that real users have noted. Disadvantages Redmi Note 8 Pro Incomplete stabilization when recording video The phone still shakes in all shooting modes, except Full HD 30fps. Many are repelled by the processor in the smartphone. Firstly, the chip process technology is 12 nanometers, which negatively affects energy efficiency. And secondly, the processor manufacturer is MediaTek, which means that it will not be possible to install a Google camera on the device. IPS screen. In 2019, I want at least an OLED. Honor 9X Pro. A heavy, large apparatus which is a little slippery. There is a possibility that it can slip out of your hand. The lack of optical stabilization. Unfinished retractable front camera. The Face ID feature is generally poor. The unusual appearance does not appeal to all users, and some of them note that the device looks too catchy, which does not add style. Advantages Redmi Note 8 Pro FC support Even though modern phones typically use NFC modules, Xiaomi usually distinguishes flagships and budget phones with the presence or absence of NFC. And this time, in the line of Redmi budget smartphones, NFC does appear. Hooray! An excellent 64 megapixel main camera that allows you to take clear pictures. Good quality pictures on the front camera. The presence of stabilization when shooting video is also a plus. Performance at a high level. A good cooling system thanks to which the smartphone does not heat up for a long time even at high workloads. The price is very affordable, even when compared with previous Redmi models. Honor 9X Pro. Display without frames and bangs with a large diagonal Full HD. The fingerprint scanner works instantly. Great shooting quality. A large number of software features for processing photos and videos. Powerful combination of processor plus video accelerator. Software that increases productivity. What can be said at the end? Both the Honor 9X Pro and the Redmi Note 8 Pro can truly be called the golden mean, which includes high performance and autonomy and good quality photos and videos. But at the same time, the price of these smartphones won't burn a hole in your wallet. That's all for today. The links to stores where you can buy the smartphones compared in today's video will be in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as click on the bell so you don't miss a single new video on the channel. Be sure to smash that like button and write in the comments which smartphone you like more and why. Thanks for watching. Bye!